What's good, Defenders Nation? It's your friendly neighborhood scarf. It's Christmas Eve. And I just thought, as we approach Christmas, we should take stock of everything that we are thankful for this holiday season. We have all been through a lot, both in regards to the black and gold, and for me, like many of you, personally. It's been a long, hard, tough year. Uh, in some ways, just as tough as 2020. But as we approach Christmas and the new year, let's take a minute to think back on everything we have to be thankful for and everything we are looking forward to be thankful for, for this upcoming black and gold season. And with that, I thought I'd share with you a little poem that I wrote that seems to fit this time of year. So without further ado, I give you my version of Twas the Night Before Christmas. Here we go. Twas the night before Christmas and all across LA, LAFC supporters were dreaming of when they'd next see our club play. The defenders, who of course we mean both Scarf and Philly, had a few words to share before they drank themselves silly. There's so much to be thankful for this holiday season, so I thought I'd try to list almost every black and gold reason. What better place to start than our cathedral, the bank? In all of MLS, our stadium is top ranked. We play on the best surface, Bermuda grass called Latitude 36. And throughout the whole place blares our anthem from Styx. If you look overhead, you'll see Ollie hunting Ken, and you can't miss the 3252 chanting in the North End. Before each home match out on Christmas tree lane, the SGs pitch their tents, whether in sun or in rain. The Cuervos, the Expos, D9U, and the Tigers. You don't have to know one or be one to feel like an insider. Almost more than the games, it's the tailgates we love best. Though the off-season allows for our stomachs and liver to both rest. We love our former players gone but not forgotten, whether it's Rossi in Turkey or Christian Ramirez in Scotland. And of course, we will miss our midfield master, El Profe. We wish Edward well in Brazil as Palmeiras chases a trophy. With the schedule out for 2022, we've already circled the dates for our favorite away days or two. No matter when or where we go, the time is always awesome. But this year, my friends, we've got Miami, Nashville, and Austin. In April, we trek down the freeway, 13 miles. When we march through Carson, the atmosphere is electric and the scene is wild. Our boys will be ready, though lots of changes have been made. The shine from 2019 shield has slowly started to fade, but optimism reigns for the upcoming year of returning the bank to a place our opponents fear. Carlos Vela, we hope, will be healthy again. When he's right, there's no player who can match our number 10. Somehow, in some way, we've still got Raito, and we get a full season this year with our newest star, Chicho. Who knows who will play keeper, but one thing's for sure, our backfield's so much better with Eddie Segura. In the midfield, there's Duke, Latif Blessing, and Sifu. And on the wings, wave goodbye as Kim Moon Wan runs right past you. Our offense can turn each game into a laugher, though we're still not quite sure who will be next season's gaffer. As we toss and turn in our beds and our minds cannot rest, we eagerly await the next time we hear Max Bredo say, yes. So on this night before Christmas, or as we say, one more sleep, as we all close our eyes and prepare to count sheep, for you, from the defenders, a small piece of advice for those scheming to be naughty or even those who have been nice. Whatever next season brings for black and gold faithful one and all, have a very Merry Christmas. And please, don't piss off, Paul. Merry Christmas from the defenders, everybody. We'll see you next year.